How you guys doing out there? This is Mike from Brad Rod Heaven. I don't know if you guys seen on YouTube, my name was changed finally. I changed the name. I'm glad I did. Um, besides that, everything has been okay. Been working on my car here little by little. Like I always do, take my time. Um, you're seeing the car the way it is right now, but a lot of that stuff might not even stay. Uh, the back is, towards the back it is. And towards the front, I'm going to change it around a little. But that's okay because those lines can disappear real easily. Um, and I had to add more color to the car anyway. So that doesn't bother me at all. I take my time. Um, somebody asked me to show. This is some of the stuff I use. I'm going to move it just a little, guys. I know you don't like movement, but I have to. This is some of the stuff I use. There it is. That's my lucky jar. That jar has all the rust you can imagine inside of it, and it's wonderful. It works perfect. So, the holes you see there are from a car that I'm copying. That's actually a real car, that one. This is the toy. That's the real one. Um, how I got the holes to be right, I actually got in touch with somebody who has a car they're rebuilding. Uh, it's an older man, he's in his 70s, and I got to talk to him through Facebook and then finally met him, and I mean through Facebook, chatting and talking on the phone. What he told me was, surprise or not surprise, the holes on these cars, none of them are even. There's no measurement from one to the other that's even. Um, he told me that. He told me he looks like a guy in Chevy was walking around with a drill, just making a bunch of holes and putting moldings. It don't even look like he counted them or added them on. Or It actually has, he was telling me, more on one side than it does on the other. He was laughing about it. And when he first took all his moldings off, and he counted the holes just in case they did body work on them and they had to put them back. And he noticed that none of the holes match. So, so I decided to do like the moldings are gone. It might be a piece of molding put on one of them, like the door one. Might be put on this side and the fender put on that side. I'm making my own moldings and I'll stick them on. That's no big deal. Uh, the car's coming along in progress pretty good. I have no problem with it. Um, but people ask me, and this is some of the stuff. I'm going to move the car for a minute. And this is some of the stuff that I do use. These brushes are very thin. These brushes are very expensive brushes. Um, for to do this to do rusting with it and to do this type of thing, but they work very good They're very thin so they let you get into where you want to uh, Beat up this beat up brush been with me for the longest. I wouldn't give it up and then I have multiple Brushes that I use sponges paper towels All types of liquids, but the main thing I do use is this This is my main thing that's my rust bucket right there. Right there. This in floor shine, it's magical. You can get crazy results. I mean, excellent crazy results. And that's not finished. I'll be darkening it, lighting it in where it has to be lightened. But if you scratch this off and you stick a magnet to it, it'll stick. That's what I showed my friend once. He goes, but I thought it was paint. I said, it is, but it has other ingredients in it that make it that if you scratch it, she'll stick to a mandic. And that's the rust. It actually has metal pieces in it. And you can do a lot of stuff with it. You just slowly. Um, not to knock nobody again. I don't do that. But I've seen a lot of people do rust and they just pile up the paint. I did it. I did it in my first few cars and made a lot of mistakes and learned. And that's the great thing. Just pile up the paint and move it around and just just doesn't look right um, to me when I did mines. And then I learned and learned and learned and got to where now that I can do it slowly. Time, 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 time. Um, and it works. And little and little things you have to add, just little things. Another thing, these these primers, man. I I have never I bought them, never used them, and then I decided to take them out, 
because I bought a new air gun. This gun is pretty good, guys. I'll show you in a minute. And this thing laid down like butter. Like, 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 like this came like this. It don't look like I painted it. It looks like it was mold in black. It wasn't. I used this. It's unbelievable how soft and easy it goes down. It's just like, it's like I was spraying and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Um, beautiful, beautiful primer. Uh, I'm not going to use anything else but these. I sent to buy every single color. You know, they have colors also. Yellow, blue, red. I sent to get almost $200 worth of them. And I can't tell you how nice they lay down. And I'm going to use them as paint also. This is a gun I bought about a year ago. And I started using it because my trusty... Uh, hold on, guys. I'll show you my trusty... Airbrush. I have tanks. I have airbrushes. That, but this is what I go to. This is my trusty thirty-dollar Amazon great buy of ten years ago. <laughs> I love it. It's great. But I bought this one. It's not bad. You got to control the pressure. There's no pressure regulator on it or anything like that, except the back when you control how much paint flows because it's not the paint will come out real fast it's to shoot big pieces not little but you can control it so it works not bad only thing i don't like the pump stays on all the time but the next thing is good no wires so you can go crazy with it flip it upside down it and there's no wires to follow you that's the good thing about it the rest of it again all right you just have to control the paint nice and slow so guys this is where i'm at this is what i'm doing this is what i've been messing with slowly and surely she's taking shape she's getting to where i want it to be with it um taking my time on it painted a lot of other pieces they're in here painted a lot of other pieces airbrush everything with the new gun worked pretty good the old one is kicking back. I cleaned it, fixed it, and she's still stuffy, so I got to pull out another one out of the closet. Another trusty $10 airbrush. I think it's $5 now. I got a bunch of them. I just pull them out, clean them up, use them. When they go bad, I get another one. I'm not going to pull out the other ones. I have other ones that I don't bother. Anyway, this is going too long, guy. Um, I'll be talking about this. Somebody asked me about this. I'll be talking about this in one of my other videos. It's something that we use as kids. Um, but this is going too long. This video is going to be too long. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys don't boot me. Anyway, um, Rambler 69, that car, I still can't get it out of my mind. Awesome car. Awesome, awesome, awesome paint job. Awesome. 3229. I'm not sure, so I'm not going to say which one it is. But it is the one that you just finished painting with that chameleon paint. Awesome. Um, again, guys, this is going too long. Take care. I'm still doing my thing. Taking a little bit of the time. Next time you see it, you'll see a bigger process on it. You'll see it on his wheels. I'm going to show you the wheels. Can't wait to show you everything. The motor, way different than what it came with. Anyway, you guys take care. This is Mike from Red Rod Heaven. You guys take it easy out there and be safe.